hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl amito mitra back again with another video and uh, there is some rumor going on that you guys don't know how to subscribe to my channel so i want us to do this together just look below this video kindly look below the video mm -hmm. do you see the word subscribe in red aha uh -huh, that one now click on it Click on it. Aha. You have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. We can now proceed with the video. There's something inside. Yeah, there's something inside. That brings me back. So yes, before I actually continue with this video, I just want to give you a reminder that I am Ugandan from East Africa, Africa. Does it make any sense? Yes, I am from Africa, East Africa, Uganda. And today, I'm here to talk about the Ugandan currency. So many of you out there want to travel to Uganda for your vacations. You want to come to Uganda, but you don't know much about our currency. And today, I'm here to tell you about our currency so that when you come to my country, you're not stuck. I'll also show you a few features on each of the currencies and also give you a tip of what exactly you can buy with each of these Ugandan currencies. And to start with, the Ugandan currency comprises of banknotes and coins. We have the banknotes and we have the bank coins. And these are denoted in Ugandan shillings. The Ugandan shillings also abbreviated as UGX. And also to let you know is um, that... Bank of Uganda is responsible for printing or minting, issuing and destroying every bank coin or banknote in Uganda. So no other person has the authority to do so. And also to let you know that in case you have any issue with your coin or note or banknote, you have a right to go to Bank of Uganda and claim for a better one as long as you have evidence for example um take an example you 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 burnt your notes halfway or a rat chewed your notes your bank notes your ugandan notes you have a right to go to bank of uganda and claim for a better one you give them the destroyed one the damaged one and they give you a new one so bank of uganda does all that so right about now, allow me present to you the official Ugandan bank notes, the Ugandan shillings. Here we go. So if you have anything that is different from this, or if you happen to get anything different from this, trust me, that is not a Ugandan bank note. Okay, um, like I told you, we also have the coins. We have the coins. I don't know if you will see them really well, but these are the Ugandan coins. So these are the coins. We have the 100 shilling coin with this picture of a cow. The next is the 200 shilling coin with a fish on it. We have the 500 shilling coin with the head of a crested crane. And lastly, we have the 1000 shilling coin with the whole crested crane in there. So basically, these are the smallest um, currencies we have in Uganda. And um, all these can uh, purchase one or two things. Of course, petty, petty things like matchboxes like razor blades, like sweets for children, and all that. All those petty, petty things. So kindly allow me to focus on the Ugandan banknotes. The Ugandan banknotes. So I will be talking about each of them, starting from the least to the greatest. Number one, this is the Ugandan 1000 shilling. And this is how it looks like. When you look at it very closely, you'll notice that these are antelopes. 
This is the Ugandan Independence Monument. This is an illustration of the Ugandan map. This is the equator. And then on this other side, this is a rock. And below the rock, we see a star. And this was derived from the mirror rock painting, something that you also need to read about Uganda. We can see the governor's uh, signature here. This is a governor bank of Uganda. So this is how the 1000 Ugandan note looks like basically. And what can this get you? This can get you a bottle of soda and a bottle of mineral water. So when you come to Uganda, just go to the nearest shop, get, um, give them this 1000 shilling and they'll get you a bottle of water or a bottle of soda and you will quench your thirst. So next is the um, 2000 Ugandan note. This is how it looks like. When you look at it so closely as well, this is a picture of the Speak Memorial. Yes, the Speak Memorial. Um, of course, there are some things that are constant on each of these um, notes, bank notes. Then on this other side, of course, the Ugandan Independence Monument here. And then when you take a closer look, you will notice that this is fish and other fish here. The Ugandan map and the equator. So this is a Ugandan 2000 shilling. And what can this get you in Kampala? Now this can get you a Rolex. When you come to Uganda, go to the nearest restaurant in the morning, breakfast time, and tell them you want a Rolex. Give them this and you'll get the best breakfast ever in your life. They'll give you the most heavy breakfast in Africa and the world. Thank me later. So we get to the pretty 5,000 notes. This is how it looks like. The 5,000 notes. So this one has... This is a cenotaph. And it's written on in memory of our glorious deeds yeah this is a cenotaph and then on this other side uh, the constant and on this other side the constant independence monument we see a bird nest up here and some birds on the other side we see this ugandan map we see the equator and yes this is how the 5000 ugandan note looks like and what can this get you this can get you a loaf of bread for your family this can get you a loaf of bread for your whole family yes so when you come to uganda and you've traveled with your family and you need something maybe for evening tea Get this 5,000 Ugandan note, go to the, near, uh, the nearest supermarket or shop and get yourself a loaf of bread for your whole family. Let's go to the next 10,000 Ugandan shilling. This is how pretty it looks like. Very pretty. Oh. The Ugandan 10,000 note has almost the same features like the other notes I have showed you. But of course, it has those unique features like um, a banana plantation. This is a banana plantation and these are bananas. Uganda is the leading grower of banana. Mato we call it matoke. When you come to Uganda, when you're hosted in Uganda and the family doesn't make you some matoke, just know you are not in Uganda. Uganda produces the most matoke in the world. And so we can see the independence monument as well, the, the, the map. And on this other side, we see a man, a gentleman holding or hugging 
um, a, a boy. We assume this is his son. And what does this show you? Love. There's so much love in Uganda. Uganda is a very lovely country, very hospitable. So you're welcome to Uganda anytime, any day. And we will treat you so well. We will love you like you've never been loved before. So what does the 10,000 Ugandan shilling get you? This here can get you lunch in a very decent place in Kampala, local food, matoke, rice on the side, some Irish, some pumpkin, meat, some, some eggplant, and some greens. Yes, this 10,000 Ugandan shilling. So every time, anytime you're in, Uganda, you're in Uganda, go to your nearest restaurant, give them this, and they'll give you the best lunch ever. So let's go to the next, the most beautiful, the most lovely, the most enticing, ah, the Ugandan 20,000 shilling. And this is how it looks. Look how nice it is. Yeah, this is the Ugandan 10,000 notes. And it has a picture of a cow on this side and the other cows on this side. The Ugandan independence monument. There is a lady here looking this other side. And then the outline of the map. We have some drums up here. Culture. That shows how much we value culture. And then this is an image or a representative of the Ugandan parliament. This is it. And then we have the windy forest here. Yes, this is the beautiful Ugandan 20,000 notes. So what can this 20,000 Ugandan shilling do for you in Uganda today? When you come to Uganda, for instance, you have not packed enough clothes and you need more clothes. Um, go to downtown, give them this 20,000 Ugandan shilling and you'll get yourself something to put on. It can be a trouser, a blouse, a shirt, a t-shirt or a skirt. At this 20,000 you will get yourself something to put on. It can also get your shoes. And with this 20,000, a Ugandan can feed a family with this money. It can buy food, probably lunch and supper. Yes, especially for those with small families, you can use this to feed your family. So lastly, we go to the mighty the mighty, the mighty 50,000 Ugandan shilling. There is something about the 50,000 Ugandan shilling. Um, it was ranked one of the most beautiful currencies ever. I think it was ranked third. Yes, I'll check the statistics. So this is one of the most beautiful currencies we have in this world. And um, the features on it, we have the mountain gorillas, as you can see there. Of course, the Ugandan independence monument here. Our, 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 sorry, our map, the Ugandan map here, an outline. And then on this other side, we have... A family this is a man their child and I guess his wife holding a flag of peace that flag has a dove on it that is peace everybody knows that a dove is a symbol of peace if you come to Uganda and you're stuck probably the person who hosted you switch their phone off just get this 50,000 Ugandan shilling notes and go to the next or nearest uh, guest house you will get accommodation you will sleep 
so this this can this can uh, lodge you for a night um this can feed a ugandan family for some days in kampala in uganda this mighty fifty thousand note it can feed a family this one to a campus this money this fifty thousand note to a campus hey a full semester this one you see here anyway this is the greatest note we have in uganda and it does so many things it can feed you for some days two or three it can uh, buy you clothes and shoes it can um, this can take you to nairobi this can take you to kenya on bus fifty thousand ugandan shillings can put you on a bus from uganda to kenya from uganda to rwanda from uganda to southern sudan and from uganda to burundi so now that you know the ugandan currency so well don't hesitate to come to my country come to uganda go to the bank exchange your money have ugandan currency and enjoy kampala very well otherwise i love you all guys so much thank you for always watching my videos otherwise thank you all for always watching my videos you give me courage to make every other single video i'm so grateful for i have you guys may god continue blessing you for me don't forget to share with your friends let everybody know about us uh, like comment and advise and see you in my next video i love you so so much i love you for god and my country there's something inside yeah there's something inside that brings me